All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another COTL how-to. Jackson here for COTL. If you guys are new to the channel, thanks for watching. If you like what we do here, feel free to leave a like and please subscribe. Thanks to those who've been with it for a while. Today, we're going to be explaining to you and showing you how to roost and explaining why you can't currently do so. All right, disclosure, before we start this video, I built this berm, therefore, I have every right to do this to it, but fix your divots, and 30 PSI, not 20, that's cheating. For those of you who don't currently know what roosting is, it comes from the term rooster tail, which is a moto thing, where they throttle out in turns and kick up dirt. And the same thing kind of applies to mountain biking. When you rip into a berm hard enough, you're gonna kick up dirt, and that's where the word roost comes from. So yeah, the basis of roosting is creating grip. And you do that by pushing through your bike into the berm, which gets those side knobs under the dirt and really turns it up and creates traction. It's not an unweighting of your bike, which we'll display here, which a lot of people do because it's easier. But like I said, once again, you're making grip and pushing into the burn, not unweighting your rear tire. All right, so the differences are kind of subtle here, but this is the way you're supposed to roost the berm. And this is the way you're not supposed to. So to go with body positioning, it's kind of bike positioning as well. So when you come into the turn, since you're gonna be pushing into it, you gotta give an ample amount of lean with your bike and body, or what's gonna happen is you're gonna be like this and you're gonna go to shift your weight and you're gonna push yourself and you're gonna go. So what you don't wanna do is high side, which is going over the top of your bike and over the top of the berm. The dangers of roosting. Yeah, it's risky business, so be <laughs> careful. But uh, yeah, if you feel like that's happening to you, it's just a commitment game. Give more lean into the berm, and the more you push into the berm, the more G's you create, the more you can lean. You're essentially sticking yourself to a wall. So speed's your friend, and so is commitment. So how this works, despite what it seems like, is it looks like you're losing traction, and you are for a split second, but you're actually creating it. So when you push into the berm, you're creating G-forces, which will temporarily break your rear tire loose but it'll find and the side knobs will start to dig into the berm and spit you out faster than you came into it usually. A lot of people see that dirt flying and mistake that for a complete loss of traction and they'll try and lift up the rear of their bike kind of on weight and just skid the tire across and that's, that's not proper, that's just not how it works. And also, never ever use that. There's no braking involved in roosting a berm. You do not need to do it and it's just wrong. <laughs> to start here with body positioning and kind of the shifting of your weight, you want to come into the berm in an attack position more or less. So a little bend in the elbows, a little bend in the legs, nothing crazy. You don't need to have your arms out like this. You don't want to be straight up and down. Just a neutral position. And as you come into the apex of the turn, <laughs> Survival the fitness, boys. So as you come into the apex of the turn, you want to have your weight over the front so you're not washing the front, but as you start to turn and make that compression, because you're essentially pumping a berm like a roller, it's just sideways, you're going to want to shift your weight back off of your bars and push through your legs, and that'll drive the wheel up and into the berm and get you out the other side. Yeah, so it's really just an extension of the legs. Imagine kind of the motion of a pogo stick, especially when you're on a full suspension bike, it's really not that dissimilar. You're driving through your legs as you hit the apex of the turn. And like I mentioned before, that's just gonna force the wheel into where it needs to be and get the side knobs into the dirt to create grip for you and hopefully spray some dirt in the same time. All right guys, so to sum it all up, starting off, Set up inside, force the bike into the corner, weight shift from front to back, drive through the legs, you're weighting the tire. Remember, you're not unweighting, you're driving it through and making traction. And 
don't cheat with your tire pressure. You want what you run. You don't want your tire to be squirming. A little deformation's all right, but you don't want that thing coming off the rim. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This takes a lot of practice, but stick with it. You'll get the hang of it. You'll be throwing dirt in the air in no time. So, uh, Shredding burns. Ripping freshies, dude. Ripping freshies, dude. So, uh, thanks for watching again, guys. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe. We're desperate. Toss a like for the boys and uh, comment if you're feeling generous. <laughs> We don't got a thing, tell her park it up, then add that fucking camera. <laughs>